Hi guys, Rep5 here again. Um, I went on a bit of a, a sort of charity shop, pound shop, uh, TK Maxx run today. Um, and I actually went quite a way out to this big TK Maxx that's quite near me because I thought, well, it's bigger, it's bound to have more good toys. Absolutely nothing. I was very, very disappointed. So um, to console myself, I went to the 99p store and I picked up some... Uh, Spongebob Blime Balls and I also picked up this which is the I think it's the short card um, version of this the Hot Wheels USS Enterprise so 99p um, which is you know I can live with that so that's him nice detail um, I have noticed that there's a new magazine out which has got all of the Star Trek spaceships crafts um on a sort of uh monthly issue i suppose and the first one's two pounds which is a bargain because the actual um spacecraft itself which i have here is really nice it's really really detailed so for 199 he was snapped up too sweet um, but the rest of the issues, as with all of these magazines, are going to be nine ninety nine. I mean, you know, there is some weight to it, and it looks nice, but ten pounds. I don't know how they can live with themselves, these magazine companies. But there we go. So I digress. I bought that the other day, but I thought I'd better show it off as well. So I went to Toys R Us because um, there was nothing in TK Maxx, and I picked up this. I picked up the Optimus Prime Bot Shot um, with his, uh, I don't know what they're calling these, his launcher. So that means I've now got him, and I've also got Megatron, which is cool. So I will be bot shotting with my daughter later on and hopefully beating her to a pulp with Megatron because she chose Optimus Prime. There, <laughs> You know how I feel about him. Sorry Black Rabbit. And then the last thing in a charity shop, in fact the first shop that we walked past and we went to and um, it's something that I looked at ages ago and I was going to pick up because I really love the movie and um, I read a lot of reviews about the movie and how People were up in arms that they were making a movie about this uh, um, series of comics or graphic novel in the first place because it could never replicate the actual um, graphic novel itself, blah, 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 blah. So obviously everybody's saying that it would never be better than the book. And I don't know whether or not it was better than the book, so I thought, well, i better buy the book then. So in the charity shop they had this, which is a Watchman by Alan Moore, David Gibbons. Um... Love the film. Thought the film was brilliant. Really brilliant. Um, the comedian, brilliant. Uh, they're all good. Warshank, you know, they were great, great characters. And I thought it was very, very well um, put together. But then that's because I haven't read this. Um, so have no comparison or prejudice to make about it. So I bought this £3.50. Um, I don't know whether or not that's a lot of money. I doubt it for a book. In fact, it was originally... 18 pounds so 350 i think i've got myself some decent bedtime reading there um i'm sure out in the trade alliance there must be some uh thoughts about watchman the movie and and the uh and the book comparison so it would be great to hear your opinions on this um alan moore i did a bit of sort of googling after i'd watched the film to see what all the hype was about um and he's an english guy and he also wrote v for vendetta or the he wrote the the graphic novel that the movie was based on and you know very interesting guy so i got that so i'm going to read that later on and as usual i'm waffling onto myself in my man cave it's obviously the heat up here so that's it that was my um pickups for today i will uh, see you on the next video so rate subscribe comment get involved let's do some trades let's hear from you cheers